Welcome to the Make More Money as a Dietitian podcast, where we talk about all things money, mindset, and marketing so your nutrition business can thrive and you can make a bigger impact in the marketplace. I am your host, Christine Diane, registered dietitian and money mindset expert. Let's get started with today's episode. Hey there, my friend. Before we get started with today's episode, I want to make sure that you're aware of the special offer that I have for you this month. You guys, this month is the two year anniversary of the Make More Money as a Dietitian movement. And in celebration of the Make More Money as a Dietitian movement, which goes well beyond this podcast, um, In celebration of it, I am offering once again, a two week trial, a 14 day trial of Embody Academy. Now, if you don't know what Embody Academy is, it is my newest flagship program. It is really, if you're a startup dietitian, um, this is the only way that you get to work with me. So It is my flagship membership program that I launched last fall. And I just want you to go over to the website and check out all the deets because I can do a whole episode on what Embody Academy is, but we got more important things to talk about today. Okay. Not that Embody Academy isn't important, but that's not what this episode is about. So if you are a dietitian who is aspiring to be in business for yourself and you want to be in a legit community of other like-minded RDs who want to be in business for themselves as well and you're dedicated to doing the work of creating a practice or a nutrition business that is unique to you on your own terms, meaning you get to craft this and cultivate it in a way that uses your unique skills and talents, and you're not following someone else's cookie cutter blueprint. If that is of interest to you, then I want you to head on over to moneymindsetdietitian.com forward slash trial offer, where you can learn all about Embody Academy, what we have going on that'll help you this year to build that practice that will help you stand out from a very crowded space in the nutrition and wellness industry. So once again, the website page where you go to check out the 14 day trial is moneymindsetdietitian.com forward slash trial offer. And I would love to see your name on the roster. Let's keep the make more money as a dietitian movement going strong in 2021 and beyond. Okay, so head on over to that web page and let's go ahead and get started with today's episode, shall we? Hey there, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Make More Money as a Dietitian. How's it going? How have you been transitioning from 2020 to 2021? Can y'all believe that we can no longer say 2020 because it's done and over with? But guess what? some of the same old, same old, we're still dealing with. So let us still keep our our um, bootstraps pulled up a little tight. We're still on a ride within this um, pandemic thingamabob and all of the things associated with it. But hopefully as we um, smoothly transition into the spring, We'll be able to get outside more, <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll be able to um, do more things. You know, that's what I'm hopeful for. I'm hopeful that we will eventually start to uh, transition back to a new sense of normalcy where, where we'll be able to um, be humans again. <laughs> And not that I'm not a human and you're not a human right now in this moment, but it's kind of weird just being kind of still sheltered in a little bit. We're not as locked down as we were before, but I still feel quite sheltered and I would love to um, go have dinner with a friend or um, 
go see some live music or maybe even live theater or something or something collaboratively with other humans. You hear what I'm saying? Like, let us all just take a moment and wish for that together. Maybe that collaborative energy will be um, sent up to the gods above and and they'll hear us, <laughs> right? All right, you guys. Today, I have something super important to share with you uh, on today's podcast episode. Now, I titled this episode, The Cost of Doing Business. And um, this is a super important one, especially this time of year. Like most of us have plans on how we're going to do things differently in our careers and in our businesses, if we own businesses as um, dietitians. So the cost of doing business is what I want to talk to you about today. So In my mind, which you know, my mind is a little different from, you know, the average Joe, right? But in my mind, there's three separate costs of doing business, two of which you are pretty much familiar with. And one of them, you're likely not. So I'm going to start out with the two that you're likely familiar with. And the first cost of doing business is time. You're going to need to spend your time. You're going to be required to make a time investment if you really want to have a successful nutrition business, right? So what does that mean specifically, right? Because a lot of times, will be told, oh, you know, you're going to have to invest some time. You're going to have to invest some other things. But a lot of people don't really give you the specifics. And I want to just touch on a couple of specifics for you today when it comes to time, because I really feel like this is important. Now, when it comes to new businesses, those of you who are just getting started in a nutrition practice, it's really recommended that you invest between four to five hours a day on marketing activities alone. Okay. So a lot of times people don't even realize what it takes to get your name and your brand and your services out there. Let's just even scratch off the list, the brand, because I don't even want you to think that you have to get out there. I mean, you have to brand yourself before you can get out there. You do not need to do that. Okay. What you really need to do is just get your name out there. Be visible to the people who can either refer clients to you or those people who are actually your clients, right? So you have to spend Four, I don't want to say have to. Let me stop making all of these. (laughs) I don't want you to feel like you have to do anything, but it is highly suggested that you spend four to five hours a day just on marketing activities. Now, that is not including other business tasks and projects that you would need to work on to really build your business. Marketing activities alone is four to five hours a day. There may be some admin work that's in there and then your client work. So are you hearing me? Do you recognize the investment in time that is usually required to build a business? This is the thing, you guys. I feel like a lot of times myself included, like in the past, a lot of times I was jaded to believe that it only took a little bit. Oh, all I had to do was just one or two things and all the people were going to come rushing to my practice to work with me. Oh, all I need to do is post on Instagram one to three times a week and I was going to get all these clients. Oh, all I needed to do is build this Um, community on Facebook and everyone was going to sign up for my stuff every time I posted it. Or all I needed to do is blog every week 
And the people are going to see my blog and get interested and then call me or email me to um, work with me. It doesn't work like that. I hate to be the bearer of the bad news, but it really doesn't work like that. What I've learned over time is that it takes a commitment of consistency and persistent action when it comes to marketing and being visible and putting yourself out there and trying things. And when some things don't work, tweaking it and trying new things. It is persistent and consistent action every single day until something happens, right? It's persistent and consistent action. That is your cost of doing business when it comes to time consistent and persistent action. It is not just a one shot here and a one shot there or throwing spaghetti at the wall to see if it sticks over there. That's not it. You need consistency. You need to be persistent when it doesn't work out the way that you want. And you have to be willing to pull yourself up when things are seemingly not going the right way. Too many of us give up when things aren't going the way we expected them to go. But any successful entrepreneur, whether they are in dietetics or not, will tell you that their failures are what have built their success. Their success is built upon multiple and multiple failures. So if you can shift your mindset around what it means to fail, that in itself is going to lead you in the right direction. As a matter of fact, when I was working with my Embody Academy students last Um, I think it was in December, actually, December of 2020, we did strategic planning day. And it was all about failing. What are you willing to do to fail? What do you think you can actually fail at? Write it down. Because if you're not willing to fail, then you won't succeed. You're not going to learn from doing the things that you're used to doing all the time. You're not going to grow from doing the same things over and over again. You have to try new things and you have to be willing to fail in order to move forward. So your first cost of doing business is your time investment. The investment of time, four to five hours a day, of marketing activities. That's not including client work and it's not including admin work. And what if you are already an established business owner? If you are, then your cost of doing business in relation to time is four to five hours a day of marketing activities, but those marketing activities should be delegated to someone other than yourself. If you are an established business owner and you've been doing business for three to five years or more, you really should be on the bandwagon of delegation. Make this your year to start delegating work out so that you can continue to grow. Because at some certain point in your nutrition business, you're going to realize that you're no longer growing because you're trying to do it all yourself. There's only so much capacity that you can hold as a solo entrepreneur. At some point, you're gonna need to delegate. So if you're established that four to five hours a day of marketing activities needs to be delegated to someone else. And that way you'll be able to focus on content creation and being like the visionary of your business 
If you're a speaker, you'll be able to go out and speak and gain more visibility. If you're not able to go out, out to speak, you'll be able to speak online, do more virtual events and things of that nature. That should be your goal. That should be your time investment as an established entrepreneur. Okay. So the cost of doing business, the first thing is your time investment. The second thing is the money investment. Hello, y'all. Woo, a lot of us dietitians don't wanna invest money. We don't wanna invest money in hardly anything. We wanna penny pinch all of the things. And I'm here to tell you, if you wanna succeed in business, you have to invest financially in your business. It's also important that you start to think of yourself as a business owner instead of a dietitian. I was just talking to my Embody Academy members about this the other day. If you want to succeed at business, you have to think like a business owner. Every action you take in your nutrition business needs to be from the thought process of a business owner, not a dietitian. The only time that you really need to put your dietitian hat on is when you're working with clients or maybe you're doing a speaking engagement, right? And you're speaking based on whatever the content is for that engagement. You put your dietitian hat on then. But when you are running your business and you're trying to really build things so that you're profitable and sustainable, you need to have your business owner hat on. You are a business owner when you're in, when you're in private practice. Let me say that again. You are a business owner when you're in private practice. So when business owners are building or even trying to sustain, they understand fully that they have to make monetary investments to do so. You have to invest in your business in order for it to grow. Now, nutrition and wellness, this industry is way too large for you to sit back on the sidelines and just hope and wish that people come to work with you. You are gonna have to make financial investments in order to be seen. So maybe that means that you need to get out there and do more speaking engagements. Is that gonna cost you money? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you will need to run ads to target your particular audience. Is that gonna cost you money? Yep. Maybe you need to get coached by someone on how to really run your business in a specific way that you have no clue about because you weren't trained on business ownership. Will that cost you money? Yep. Are you willing to make financial investments this year so that your business can look totally different in 2022? Are you willing to do that? What's important and what I actually um, think we all need to consider is to really pull back the reins on the shiny object syndrome. So many of us, I'm guilty of it too, so many of us have just bought all of the things, all of the courses, signed up for all of the memberships, invested in coaching with coaches who maybe didn't give you the return on your investment that you expected. That's a whole different conversation. I really want to do a podcast on that. And I think this year, it's important to think about how you want to make your financial investments in your business. So for example, for me, I have decided that I am not investing in any programs other than what I'm already in right now. 
not buying any shiny objects this year whatsoever. None. I'm going to stick with what is working currently for me in the current program that I'm enrolled in. And I'm going to work the heck out of that program until I get exactly what I want and all of the things that I need. 1000% committed to getting everything that I need this year from that program. So my question to you is what financial investment can you make in your business this year to give you a return on your investment? Now, think about the return on the investment part. It's not always going to be an equal monetary return. Maybe the return on your investment will be the number of clients. Maybe the return on your investment will be the knowledge and the skills that you gain. So be very mindful of how you will invest in your business this year so that you can get a return on your investment so that your business looks different or your career as a dietitian looks different than it did this year in 2021. So in 2022, you want your business to look different than you started out in 2021. Okay. So the cost of doing business, the first one is time. The second one is money. And this last cost is all about losing your mind. Okay. In my opinion, this really should be the first investment. You need to lose something. And the thing that you need to lose the most is your mind. You need to lose your current mindset around money. You need to lose your current mindset around what it takes to build a business. You need to lose your current mindset around what is possible for you and your career as a dietitian. You need to lose your mind around FOMO. You need to lose your mind around being a fraud, an imposter. There's so much that we need to lose when it comes to our mindset and when we lose those things, we will gain so much more in return. It's time to do the mindset work, my friends, so that you can gain a much greater return in your business, in your career as a dietitian, and overall in your life. That is my hope for you. My hope for you is that this year, you will be reminded that your mindset is controlling everything in your life and in your career. And if you want something different in 2021, you're going to have to lose your mind and gain a new perspective. All right, my friends, that is the cost of doing business. Investing your time, investing your money, and losing parts of your mind so that you can gain a greater perspective on what is possible for you as a dietitian in business. Have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to being with you again next week on another episode of Make More Money as a dietitian. Hey, if you want to learn how you can make more money as a dietitian and stand out from the crowd, I want to invite you to check out my new membership program, Embody Academy. Just head on over to moneymindsetdietitian.com forward slash trial offer. Again, that's moneymindsetdietitian.com forward slash trial offer so you can test drive the academy for 14 days i'd love to see your name on the roster and help you make more money as a dietitian